Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right there. I said something, but all right, let's do this. Today we are doing a first date makeup look. And the goal for this look is to keep your face looking fresh, looking light, looking cutesy, and not heavy so that's the whole goal of this look i don't know about you guys but that is what i would this is what i would want to look like on a first date and not make it look too crazy sometimes i go even a little bit more natural than this look but this is the base of the looks i would do um i already did my face my foundation the powder per use same routine every single time and i'm going in with hula bronzer and lightly contouring and carving out my face very lightly Taking our Morphe palette, 35V. I'm taking this brown transition color right here and placing it in my crease. For all my single ladies, leave a comment below. If you guys see this look, let me know. And if you find your husband or your boyfriend with this makeup look, you better invite me to the wedding. Okay, please let me know if you guys do this look. Okay, I had a lot of ice cream earlier, so I'm a little bit hyper right now. So I hope you guys don't mind me being a little bit crazy. But yes, how's everybody's 2020? I hope everybody manifests what they want this year. I'm taking this pretty pink mauve color and placing this all over my lid. There's something about pinky tones and pinky eye, pink pinky pink eyeshadow that just brings this very cutesy look out of a female so that's why i'm doing this very pinky like cute color and then i took my lorac pro palette taking this brown and placing this on the outer corner to add a little bit more dimension because i didn't want my eyeballs to look completely flat we want some sort of dimension there but not too heavy keep a light hand on this shadow you don't want your date to be unless you do but i mean most people don't you don't want your date to be like oh she wears too much makeup i'm not with it never sees you again ghosts you and you end up being alone with 60 cats it's i mean unless you like cats that's fine too everybody's different to each his own yeah <laughs> so i'm taking this clean blending brush and blending out that shadow to make sure it doesn't look chunky and muddy and then I am going to take this pink shimmery color right here and popping that in the inner corner of my eyes just to add a bit of highlight of course we're still sticking to this pink theme very pink purple theme I have no idea what I'm singing right here but I must have been very into it oh my god guys I just discovered this Netflix show called you on Netflix oh oh my god I think my next video I'm gonna do um, is a mukbang and I'm gonna talk about that show I'm taking this NYX eyeliner called matte it's matte and it's also named matte <laughs> Um, and doing a very light winged eyeliner nothing too crazy just to outline my eyeballs just a tad to add a little bit more dimension and then I'm taking these very soft um, natural looking lashes popping those on along with colossal mascara this is a regular one non waterproof to um, make my lashes look longer and we are taking makeup forever eyeliner and I'm going to line the top part top lid of my waterline because I wanted to make sure the lid the lashes look cohesive with my real lash I don't want the falsy popping out and looking a little bit more um, unnatural so by placing a waterline it makes it a little bit more natural and now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty highlighter. This is called Hustla, baby. Hustla with a uh, money sign at the end. Popping this on my cheek and the bridge of my nose to get ish popping for this date. And of course, we cannot forget the blush. Blush is my tart. It is called Feel Fearless. Because use the Fearless bit. Okay, popping that on the apples of our cheeks and it just brings out this freshness with your look and of course per the news I'm lining my lips with Candy K lip liner we're gonna keep this lip the simple 
very very simple just to keep it natural so I went in with this gloss it's called blip can't recall the name exactly but this glip gloss was a little bit too dark so I ended up wiping this off and going back in with a more clear gloss to keep things a little bit more simple I felt like this made it a little bit too dark so I'm taking this traditional gloss I think I've used this so much that it just turned it a little bit of like an orange pink tint but I promise this is clear does there's no color in there just all clear and now to add a little pizzazz to this you know this cute little date look or whatever I'm placing a little bit of this lava moisturizer that my friend got me for Christmas this is the softest moisturizer I think it's called considered a moisturizer um, with some glitter very very um, powdery soft glitter have you guys seen that Rihanna video video where she just like so dramatically or nonchalantly placed this on her shoulder and she was so fabulous about it and everybody did like <laughs> parodies of it it was great if you guys haven't seen it google it put in lava uh, Fenty lava whatever video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I will catch you in my next one